Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Alfaro here, and today we're going to be talking about the February 2022 update for Back for Blood. Now, this update goes live today at 10 a.m. Pacific time, so depending on when you watch this video will depend on when it goes live, but most likely it already went live for you. Let's start off with the new features, and the first one is streamer mode. Players now have access to an audio option that disables copyrighted music in the game. This is important if you stream on Twitch and YouTube like I do, especially when you go into that mission, the Barroom Blitz one with a jukebox playing all types of copyrighted music this is very helpful the next thing is stay together ungrouped players can vote to stay together at the end of a run when they would have otherwise been split up the next thing is walker's ability rework added incoming which functions like mark for death lowers the mark targets damage dealt accuracy on precision kills removed now let's move on to the next bullet point increase the limited decks allowed in deck manager to 16 for each mode players now earn supply points after failing a mission now let's move on to the campaign update and we're gonna go to the general card update the first card on the list is evasive action refractor to defensive maneuver attacks over 15 damage apply 25 percent damage resistance for three seconds the next is on your marks instantly gives 15 percent of max ammo and 10 percent move speed while firing plus 25% reload, and plus 25% weapon swap for 30 seconds on horde trigger. No longer gives team speed 15% for 30 seconds at safe room. Now, if you use this card in your speed runs, now it's not going to be that great because in the beginning, you got 15% as soon as you open that safe room door, but they obviously took that away. Amped up. No longer gives temporary health when leaving the safe room. Now gives team 25 temporary health anytime a horde is triggered. Next, we have a shooting gloves refractor, plus 25% swap unchanged added 15% recoil control 15% accuracy the next card is front sight focus plus 20% accuracy unchanged added 10% weak spot damage and added 15% aim speed next thing it says mom's revived now fully heals targets hoffman's ability now includes a 1% chance to find offensive items on any kill and team ammo is increased to 15% from 10% admin reload no longer has trade-off ammo for all added 1% team damage ammo pouch added 2.5 percent bullet damage and 25 percent ammo capacity ammo belt added 15 percent reload 50 percent ammo capacity no longer has a trade-off grenade pouch added 25 percent swap speed increase offensive slot by one double grenade pouch increase offensive slot by two no longer reduces damage by 10 percent now slows movement by 5%. Belt clip added 10% use speed increases quick slot by 1. Utility belt clip increases quick slot by 2. No longer reduces damage by 10%. Now slows movement by 5. Shoulder bag increases offensive slot by 2. No longer reduces damage by 10%. Now slows movement by 5%. Mandatory PT. Stamina reduced to 10% from 15%. Stamina regen plus 10%. Hellfire. Decreased movement speed speed to 3% from 5%, stamina now gives a flat 10 stamina instead of 10%. Compound interest, updated to affect the whole team, reduce 5% from 10%. Battle us now benefits from healing efficiency, face your fears trigger range increase to 2.5 meters. Utility scavenger, barbed wire now properly gets highlighted with this card instead of offensive scavenger. Stimulants duration increased to 60 seconds from 30 seconds. Optics enthusiast no longer reduces stamina efficiency. Trigger control added accuracy on precision kills. Wooden armor. Trauma resistance decreased to 30% from 40%. No longer increases acid damage by 100%. Body armor. Trauma resistance decreased to 20%. No longer has a trade-off. Overwatch. Distance increased to 15 meters from 10. Now we're on to the healing card updates. And the first one is antibiotic ointment. Increases healing efficiency to 25%. Now gives an additional 10 temp health to targets anytime you heal with an item or ability. EMT bag increased healing efficiency to 50% from 40% no longer reduces stamina efficiency. Field surgeon target heals three trauma anytime a medical accessory is used. No longer gives healing efficiency no longer has a trade-off. Medical expert target heals one trauma anytime a medical accessory is used added 50% revive speed and 15% team healing efficiency. Fanny pack added 15% trauma resistance increased Increase support slot by one. Fresh bandage return to full health after trauma heal. And then there's one corruption card update, which is toxic spill. Temp health per kill reduced to three from five. Now the 
next update they did has to do with weapons and it says here that we felt certain weapon qualities weren't scaling well enough and other weapons were scaling too quickly overall weapon damage scaling per quality decreased to 18.5 percent from 20 percent now when i leave the patch notes in the description below you can check out each weapon you know which one specifically you're interested in there's a whole bunch of changes that has to do with scaling and numbers that you can check out for yourself just click on the link below now let's move on to the next thing that says spawning updates wandering specials now have a 12 to 18 second exit cooldown bot updates bot positioning has been updated to prioritize player line of sight ridden ai updates car alarms are no longer triggered by charred ridden reeker melee damage reduced to 8 from 15 now let's move on to swarm updates added new vfx to ridden cleaners now begin each round with full ammo in swarm mode reduce tall boy health to 600 from 625 reduce tall boy overhead damage radius to 140 from 160 tall boy stun resistance mutation now limits stun time to 2.5 seconds down from three seconds remove the ramp up time for the vomit ability to reach full velocity for reg players hawkers projectile speed reduced to 2000 from 2500 so overall they just nerfed the tall boy and you know gave the hawker a little bit of buff unfortunately there's no hints of any rank mode or another pvp mode or even leaderboards which is a bummer but hey it is what it is now the next thing is for my controller players and it says controller up updates players strafe forward and backward movement speeds are now more consistent between keyboard and mouse and controller now the next thing is the supply line updates new sprays are now available in supply lines and zwat emblem is now available in roving merchant supply lines now the rest of the patch notes have to do with accessibility updates ui updates bug fixes so if you want to check this out again i'll leave the patch notes and a link in the description below and you can check it out for yourself let me know in the comment section below what you guys think about this update this is alfaro signing out.